everyone, I'm Elise from iThemes and I'm here to talk to you today some more about Gutenberg. WordPress 5.0 dropped about a week ago, so you should have had some time by now to start working with Gutenberg and playing around with it and just learning more how to use it. If you haven't had a chance to do that yet, I'd recommend starting with one of our other introductory videos before moving on to this one. When WordPress 5.0 came out, we had a live event to address any questions or concerns people had regarding Gutenberg. During that live event, we had a couple of requests for tutorials covering specific block types. So today we're going to talk about both map blocks and accordion blocks. If you haven't already, you'll want to go into your Google console to create an API key. Many of the plugins that create map blocks are going to use Google's API, so you'll need your API key. The maps block for Gutenberg by Web Factory plugin adds a new map block to the common block section. Once you've added the block to your content, you can make any adjustments you need here in the right hand column where all your settings are. You'll enter the address you want to show on your map. You can adjust the zoom of your map and then even the height of your map. At the bottom is where you'll enter your Google API key. The Otter Blocks plugin also includes a map block which you'll find in the Otter Blocks section. Once you've added the block to your content, you'll enter the location you want to show on your map. In your right hand sidebar again, you can adjust your settings, which would include your map type, which you can select between a road map and a satellite view. And you can adjust the zoom level for your map and set the map height as well. Under Global Settings is where you'll enter your Google API key. Like Otterbox, Jetpack has its own section in the Gutenberg Blocks menu, and it has a map block. Unlike the previous two map blocks, Jetpack does not use the Google API. Instead, you'll need to go to mapbox.com and either log in or create an account, and then you'll input your token when you first create your Jetpack map block. Once you've done that, you can add a location to create a marker. With the Jetpack map block, you can adjust your map's theme, create your own custom marker color, and edit your marker information. The Atomic Blocks, Otter Blocks, and Stackable plugins all have accordion blocks in them and they each create their own section in your Gutenberg Blocks menu. When you add the stackable accordion to your content, you have an area where you can enter your title and then your section content. In your settings, you can adjust your heading color and the background color for your heading, and you can determine whether or not this accordion is open at the start. To add an additional accordion item, you actually have to add the block again. You'll have to do this for each section you want in your accordion area. The Atomic Blocks accordion is very similar to Stackables. First, you have where you can enter your section title and then your section content. In your settings, you can adjust your font size and determine whether or not the accordion is open by default. Again, like Stackable, to add another accordion item, you actually have to add that same block again. The Otter Blocks accordion item is a little bit different. You'll see when you add this block to your content, you automatically have three sections you can create for your accordion. In your settings, you can adjust your font size either by small, normal, large, or huge, or you can actually enter your font size based on pixels. Here in your settings, you can also enable the drop cap feature. Now, unlike stackable and atomic blocks, instead of having to create a whole new block, Otter Blocks has added the section down here. If you click on this plus sign, a menu opens, and you just need to select the accordion item. This automatically adds a new section to your accordion. Thanks for joining me today as I've talked about map and accordion blocks, and I really hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have other suggestions for tutorials you'd like to see, go ahead and drop those in the comments below. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.